I'm Eric Knowles. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been performing for 12 years. Um, actually, I got my start uh, in the military, in the Marine Corps. Uh, the first time I did it, I was ordered to do stand-up in front of everybody as a punishment to try to embarrass me, and I just kind of roasted my chain of command. And uh, just been going ever since, really. Uh, I met Zach here at the Comedy Palace probably about 10 years ago. Uh, Zach is great to work with. It's just, uh, it sucks because he's always short of money. He's always asking me for five bucks. It's kind of weird. I don't know what the, thing, the deal is, but I give him five bucks. He owes me five bucks. So ladies and gentlemen, finally, welcome to the Sex, Drugs, and Jokes stage, Mr. Eric Knowles. Let's hear it. Come on, 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 come on. I'm happy to be here, man. I, uh, I have five kids. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> so I'm tired. <laughs> I do have five kids. Three of my kids are stepkids. Yeah. So it's like I have two kids that I love for sure. <laughs> three more kids. I also love them now. It took a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's scary being a dad, though, right now. In 2017, there's so much technology. You know, I got two boys, they have smartphones, they're 14 and 15. You know, their parents got together and got them smartphones. I was like, you shouldn't have done that. You know, now they're already in trouble. You know, the 15 year old, you know what he did. Now, he, he took a picture of his wiener and he sent it to his 15 year old girlfriend. Yeah, awkward for everyone involved, thank you. Yeah. yeah, my wife wants me to talk to him. She's like, you gotta talk to him about this. I'm like, what am I supposed to, I, I don't even know if I'm mad at him, first of all. <laughs> What did you think he was gonna do? I, t I told you, as soon as he got a dick and a phone, he put the two together and just sent it off into space. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Which is exactly what I would've done, man. I can't even blame him. My wife's like, did you ever do that? I'm like, we didn't have smartphones, man. I used to have to trace it on a piece of paper and just show that to him. <laughs> you had to hand deliver a dick pic back in the day. <laughs> Do it sneaky, just bring it to school. Hey, yeah, check out my dick pic. Yeah. Yeah. Unfold it, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Scary though, man. My kids, and they have these, it's a genie in their pocket. They can just look up anything. What do titties look like? Boom, they're right there. That shouldn't be that easy. Titties should be hard to see. Yeah. I'm not that old. I feel like the old man. Like, back. back Back in my day, when I was a kid, the first Playboy magazines I ever saw looked like they'd been chewed by wolves, man. Was, they were like ancient documents passed down from kid to kid. It was a whole stack of Playboys buried in the woods, wrapped in trash bags and duct tape. Yeah, an older kid drew a map to it for me and my friends. We went on an adventure. It was like the Goonies, but with titties at the end. It was the best summer of my life. Titties should always be that hard to see. 